Now, the cancellation of Roseanne touching a nerve with many of you on our Facebook page. More than 300 of you sharing our post. 575 plus reacting and comments. Oh, lots of comments. Blair Caldwell breaks down what some of you are saying. That's right, Dan. The conversation is divided on our Facebook, but this story is gaining big attention, getting more than 600 comments within hours. Dana said there was nothing funny about her so-called joke. Alex agreed, saying he was glad ABC acted quick on this. He didn't watch the show and won't miss it. Now, Gina said she is disappointed. The show didn't won't air again, saying there are a lot of people who have speaked ill about our president and their shows aren't being pulled. I think that people should have a say. Now, Jamie said, where did freedom of speech go? But one local expert says freedom of speech doesn't necessarily apply to your work. She's got an absolute First Amendment right to tweet what she wants to tweet, but she doesn't have a right to the job that she has. Private employers can fire employees for their speech outside of work, their speech at work, um, pretty much whenever they want. Dr. Sam Nelson is the chair of the University of Toledo's political science department. He says both parties acted fully within their rights. While he wasn't surprised by Roseanne's comments, he was that ABC pulled the show so quickly. He thinks this case is parallel to the NFL anthem case. They're similar in that their um, uh, financial consequences for, for expression for political expression and what we're getting a lot is we're having debates about free speech or arguments about free speech that are really just political arguments and we're throwing speech in there to make it seem uh, like it's not just a political conflict. Dr. Nelson says in debates like this people are not consistent in their argument of freedom of speech and instead only want what supports their argument. He hopes the latest discussion will spark a larger one. It'd be great if a debate about Roseanne's speech at work led to a debate about your speech at work, my speech at work, every you know, regular people who are not famous actresses. Nelson suggests employers need to communicate clearly with their employees about their expectations and that employees should simply think before they post online. Doing this might just prevent negative consequences. Blair Caldwell, WTOL 11.